Hi, my name is Katie and I'm this month's featured collector. Um, I just wanted to thank Chris for giving me this opportunity to uh, share my collection. It, it is a smaller, less expensive collection, uh, but it is very dear to my heart and I'm very picky about what I like to put in it. Uh, one thing you'll probably notice is I do enjoy the uh, classic uh, 1940s, 50s, 60s colors of Batman. So you're going to see a lot of like uh, the original artwork uh, from the original comics uh, and you're going to see the blues, the yellows, and the, the grays. Uh, those are probably my favorite when it comes to decorating. Um, I primarily decorate my bedroom just mainly because um, me and my husband are kind of picky. Our, our living room is kind of more on like like video games. That's what we agreed upon. And then uh, so we have like a lot of Super Mario and uh, Pokemon and uh, Yu-Gi-Oh and just things that are not Batman in there. And then uh, we agreed that or I, I agreed that uh, the bedroom was just going to be the bat bedroom. So uh, I'm very proud of it <laughs> and I'm excited to share it with you guys. Um, just a little bit about me. I'm 26 years old. I just had my birthday this month. I'm a September baby. Uh, <laughs> not a baby anymore, but, but I, w I was born in the 90s and go 90s babies. <laughs> we uh, like to visit local comic book shops on the weekend and that's where I have found like some of the most uh, awesome and unique pieces in my collection uh, just because every comic book shop that you go to uh, it's it has a, like specific stuff that you probably haven't seen before on sh on the shelves of maybe like a mall so go to your local book comic book shops um, I do collect comics I'm not I, I don't have as many comics as I would like uh, but thankfully my husband actually does work at a local DFW comic book company where they buy and resell comics so he does get me free comics sometimes and it's really uh, a big bonus for somebody that's already like like a Batman fan and a comic book fan to have that so it's really cool we're both basic nerds so it's kind of a, a perfect thing to have another thing is I do like to read comics um, my favorite comic book uh, is Batman year one and uh, <laughs> after I read that I ended up reading Batgirl year one and that made me just fall more and more in love with uh, Barbara Gordon as Batgirl uh, I know there's several uh, Batgirls, uh, but my favorite Batgirl is probably Barbara Gordon. Uh, but fun fact, it, my personality is probably closer to Stephanie Brown because I'm a lot more of a goofball. <laughs> and uh, But honestly, I feel like my personal opinion is probably the toughest uh, Batgirl is Cassandra Cain. And I really, uh, after reading the, uh, the Batgirl series with Cassandra Cain. I'd really like to see more uh, on her because I haven't really found any figures or any collectibles uh, with Cassandra Cain and uh, I feel like that would be really cool uh, to find one day. Um, just a little bit about me, uh, just I personally was a little bit afraid of getting into the comic book community because you know how people are when it comes to stuff that they're really passionate about. They really like to argue about different things that they're a fan of uh, and especially with the comic book community like you know fans can, like really like to be uh, specific on uh, their arguments and so I when I first started reading uh, comics I didn't really want to talk about it with other people because I didn't want to get into a debate on like how many comics I've read but honestly the collecting community uh, has been really welcoming and it's really fun to just be in different groups like uh, for instance uh, Brotherhood of the Bat uh, with a Batman statue collector. Uh, they're actually really, really awesome people and it was it was really cool uh, just sharing my collection with them and then getting this opportunity to uh, share it with you guys. But uh, what really got me into collecting was probably uh, at first just the Funko Pops. I know a lot of people aren't like big fans of the Funko Pops because they're not the, for me, like the earlier Funko Pops that came out weren't really well, in my opinion, opinion as well done, uh, and they seemed kind of cheap looking. Um, <laughs> and like the newer ones, like if you have your opinion, you might still think that they're cheap looking. But for me, I was a broke college student, so that's where some of my Funko Pops come from. It's just from buying them around because they're only 
around ten dollars <laughs> to get uh, but that's what got me into collecting. Uh, so, and I, I honestly just really enjoy like uh, Batman, um, like obviously the classic Batman, uh, like from the 1950s, 60s art. Uh, but I really like functional pieces, if that makes any sense. So, if you'll you'll see later. But I have uh, a Batwing lamp. So it not only is it a lamp, but it's also a Batwing. And then uh, I have a lot of. Um, I have a bat mirror <laughs> like I just like really cool like random things that you wouldn't normally see in a collection so uh, they're not necessarily statues uh, but there are just some unique pieces that I, I like to look for uh, one thing that I'm actually looking for is a Batman uh, like bookend <laughs> I found that I, I saw them once online and I couldn't find them again so if anybody knows where to find a Batman bookend I'm looking for one because I just wanted to go perfectly over here in my collection. Uh, my husband really likes collecting Pokemon, uh, uh, like uh, the classic Pokemon, and then we have Dragon Ball Z, and uh, we have a lot of other like non-Batman stuff, uh, but uh, Batman is probably like my main thing uh, that I, we enjoy collecting. Um, I'd have to say that uh, my favorite statue that I own is um, probably my artist alley batgirl I'll, I'll give you a better look at her whenever uh i do the tour uh but she's probably my favorite uh and then my second favorite has to be my uh batwing lamp <laughs> it's just it's one of those things where you're like do i actually need this and then you're like yes yes i actually do need this so those are my two favorite things it's not technically a statue you could probably call it a, a model um, but I'll show it later. Uh, if I could own any piece, regardless of the cost, it would probably be <laughs> absolutely the Prime One Studio Arkham Batgirl. Uh, that statue is just so, like, it's just so well done. And I really like the armored look of Batgirl. Like, I cosplayed as the, um, the newer version of Batgirl and the purple costume. Some people don't really like that with the motorcycle jacket. Uh, I actually do would like to cosplay as the Arkham Knight uh, Batgirl at some point, just because of the way that everything's like armored, like a more of an armored look. Um, but I would love to own that statue. I just don't have anywhere to to fit it for one, and then for two, like I don't have any money yet <laughs> to get it. But uh, one day I shall finally take the plunge with my credit card and get it. Um, the other thing that I really, really want is the Prime One Studio Supergirl uh, statue with her cat Streaky. Uh, I think that's just, it, I saw the art print that Stanley Art Germ uh, like drew and I saw that print uh, and I remember seeing it and being like, wait, why don't they have a statue of this? This would be a really cool thing to actually see it in, in real life. And then what do you know, they actually made the statue and now I... Every time I see it, when I go to some comic book shops, I just stare at it and I'm just like, ah, like I wish I could have that. Uh, Supergirl, like, is my other favorite superhero, I guess you could say, uh, just because um, <laughs> she has another personality that's pretty uh, similar to mine. Uh, if I could have a company create my dream statue, uh, it would probably be like all the Batgirls together uh, in one, um, how do you say, uh, Kind of like a diorama maybe uh like i think it'd be really cool to have uh, barbara gordon and cassandra kane and stephanie brown all uh maybe not in the same statue per se but at least to have uh like a stephanie brown statue or a cassandra kane batgirl statue uh cassandra kane doesn't really get as much recognition as she deserves if you've ever read the batgirl comics uh i think they were um out in like the 2000s or maybe the late 90s, but Cassandra Kane is a pretty badass uh, Batgirl, and uh, she's actually, in my opinion, I feel like she's one of the toughest uh, Batgirls other than uh, Barbara Gordon. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys my collection. Uh, I am really excited to show it to you guys, but I'm going to go ahead and get to that. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm about to show you my Batcave, so welcome to the tour. All right, so just the first off the bat, I wanted to show you of my room. Um, I just have uh, everything. I'm just gonna show you what it looks like all together. 
it looks like a bigger room than it actually is, but um, this is just the basic gist. So I'm gonna start with the corner. Hello, by the way. Um, at the very top of my door, I have a Batman Boulevard sign. I picked this up at uh, Hobby Lobby. I've gotten a lot of the stuff that uh, I have on my walls from Hobby Lobby. Uh, these art prints I got with a calendar set. It was like a 80th anniversary calendar for 2020 and they came with these classic Batman prints. Uh, these two are the um, some metal signs that I found at Half Price Books that I thought were really cool. And then moving on right here, I have another little piece uh, that I found from Hobby Lobby. Uh, again, you'll see is a, a theme with the color scheme. I have the same metal prints right here. And right here, you can't really tell. Uh, hello again. Um, it's kind of like my uh, holy grail of <laughs> my collection. Just the way it looks, looks like pretty cool. Um, it almost looks like I'm worshiping <laughs> uh, Batgirl, Supergirl, um, Zatanna, and Wonder Woman, but <laughs> it just looks really cool the way this uh, turned out. Um, they're sitting on a uh, Batman shelf um, that I actually picked up from Hobby Lobby, and uh, I have several Funko Pops on top. Starting from the left, I have the one of the newer versions of Batgirl in her motorcycle jacket. I have the classic uh, Batgirl statue. I have the 1950s version of Batgirl. I have like a little mini version of Batgirl that came with like this cereal box that I found at Box Lunch. Uh, fun fact, the cereal in this um, these boxes is really gross and you shouldn't try eating it, but I did and I'm telling you, don't, don't eat the cereal. <laughs> but it's a really cool uh, collectible piece. Um, just to have like a part of my shelf. Um, I have the Bombshells Batgirl, the Bombshells uh, Supergirl, I have the movie version of Wonder Woman, I have Zatanna, which I found pretty recently. Up to this point I've only had uh, Batgirl, Supergirl, and Wonder Woman on the shelf and then I was like, hey, like, are they ever going to come out with a Zatanna Fungal Pop? And what do you know they did? And she looks really, really cool with her tights and her wand and her hat and uh, we have Huntress and Batwoman um, I'm not a huge fan of those two I, I really love them I'm not as familiar with the, the comic books for them but uh, I just thought they looked so cool as uh, Funko Pops and just to give you another uh, angle of this uh, this is uh, what the full color uh, version looks like um, so below here I actually have my uh, Batgirl uh, cowl uh, I got this on Etsy uh, by a really amazing, talented artist, uh, uh, and uh, I really, really uh, like the craftsmanship on it. His name's uh, Fanatic Effects, if you ever follow him on Instagram or Etsy, and uh, I used this in my uh, Batgirl cosplay, because up until that point, the only thing I could find were the, the cows and the the Batman uh, costumes and they didn't really fit my face very well but this one was really well constructed and I really love it. Um, this is actually a Batgirl hat that I found on SuperheroStuff.com. If you ever go on that website and you have like a favorite superhero character, uh, chances are they have a hat and <laughs> I really really like um, the hat. Um, over here I have my uh, Batgirl comic book of uh, collection or at least part of it um, I own the volumes of the new 52 version of Batgirl that's probably my favorite uh, outfit other than the Arkham Knight with the uh, purple uh, cape I have uh, some Sailor Moon uh, volumes <laughs> so that's the only part of this room that's not Batgirl is right here is my Sailor Moon collection and then right here I have a DC Artist Alley uh, right here, uh, Supergirl, a uh, little figure. Uh, these were only, this was only like 30 bucks, and it was a really, really great deal on sale. Um, but I really love the way uh, it it's constructed, and the colors are very, very vibrant. Um, and obviously, it comes with uh, Streaky, uh, her cat, and you don't really see that very option often. And uh, 
Uh, I, like I was telling you guys, I really want the uh, the Prime 1 version of Supergirl, but this was like the more affordable option. Uh, but I still think it's really, really cool. Um, so if you have a GameStop or a Think Geek near you, you probably will see this uh, there. Um, and then it came with a art print that I thought was really cool. Uh, right here, um, I have a Supergirl print that's kind of reflective. I found it at a comic book shop, and I think it looks pretty cool. This is a display. Uh, down here, I'm going to show you my puzzles that I have yet to finish. <laughs> um, I have two cats, and every time I try to start one, one of them runs off with one of the puzzle pieces, and I don't find it for like two weeks, or I don't realize that it was missing in the first place, and then I have to like start all over on the puzzle. So. Yeah, that's the struggle with cats, but um, this one is a Thomas Kincaid uh, puzzle. It actually comes with an art print uh, if you'd rather just hang up the art print. Um, but uh, I really love it for obvious reasons. It has uh, Supergirl, it has Batgirl and Wonder Woman, and they're all really awesome like characters just fighting. And I believe this is uh, in the corner we got Harley Quinn. I think that's really cool. And um, right here I have my DC Bombshells puzzle. And uh, DC Bombshells is uh, one of my second favorite series uh, for comic books. Um, and it's really hard to find. They, I believe they made some statues of these uh, a while back. Uh, there's some newer ones that are coming out, but um, the resale value on them now is kind of ridiculous. Uh, but eventually, hopefully, I'll own one of these actual statue pieces uh, one day. Uh, down here, I have like a small comic book collection. Um, I'm wanting to mainly collect volumes. Um, and then if I can, uh, I'm going to try to find some uh, more variants. Uh, but I want to move on to the rest of my wall. I have a Bombshells Batgirl uh, poster. It's reflective as well. I found this at a comic book shop. And up here, I have some uh, unique art prints that I found at a pop-up booth at a smaller Comic-Con that I went to. Uh, he did uh, Batgirl, he did Batman, and Nightwing, and uh, Robin, all with a birthday cake, and then Alfred in the back. And uh, he also did uh, Batman and Robin eating lunch together. And I just think this is so cool. Just like, cause Robin has like a Superman lunchbox and then uh, Batman's like having his uh, Capri Sun. Just thought it was pretty unique. Uh, the name of this artist is uh, Mims. I, I used to follow him on Instagram, but, um, but yeah, these are just some of the more knockoff pieces in my, uh, like they're not the actual, like the original art, but I really love them. They're very unique and I really like having them in my collection. I have a Batman poster right here that I believe I found at, uh, I think Ross uh, or Burlington Coat Factory. If you go there every once in a while, they do have some uh, like a wall art. Uh, and I liked it just because of the comic book prints in the back. It's kind of like more of the darker pieces in my uh, room. <laughs> right here, you're gonna see my uh, Batgirl phone, and you're also gonna see uh, probably the coolest thing I have in my collection. I'm gonna say that over and over again, but I really, really love this mirror. Um, it's not like an actual mirror, it's like more of like a plastic. I couldn't tell you where I bought it, it was like three years ago, um, but it, I think it was around 50 bucks, and I bought it on some website, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's really cool. It's a functional piece, and it goes really awesome above the the dresser. I, I really, really love it. It's one of my favorite. Um, right here, I have some uh, bombshells. Uh, I believe these were in these uh, tin cans. If you go to Hot Topic, um, they were like these mystery uh, items. And uh, because I couldn't find like any more Funko Pops and I couldn't like afford or find like the actual statues of the bombshells, uh, these were really a really cool addition to my room. Um, right here, you're gonna see Nightwing. This isn't everyone's favorite version of Nightwing, but I think he's really, really cool. Um, just, uh, it's one of the more classic versions of Nightwing. Um, and I really love the colors. And uh, right here we have our 
1960s Batman with his eyebrows. And then I have a couple of the Funko Pop uh, 80th anniversary Funko Pops that came in these really uh, pretty um, golden uh, boxes. This is, if you can't tell, this is like the first Batman from the 1939 comic. And this is the Batman from uh, the, one of the original 1989 uh, Batman movies. <laughs> with his awesome suit. Oh, actually, yeah, and he's got, um, I believe this is a question mark he's holding. And below these guys actually have the Bat, the Batmobile. And this is really, really, really cool. Um, I'm afraid to take it out of the box just because it's so awesome and, um, I really don't want to scratch it up any uh, but this is really cool. I found all of these pretty much at Hot Topic. I found these at this Batmobile at uh, GameStop. And fun fact, I actually only paid like, I think $10 for this um, online. For some reason online sometimes they have um, like better sales going on at GameStop. So if you're ever just looking for some Funko Pops that maybe not, are not as popular, uh, go on GameStop.com. Uh, I have the animated series Batman right here. I have like a little mini model of the uh, Batmobile right here. Came with like a little booklet. This is another like functional piece that I think is really amazing in my collection. This is actually a kitchen timer. And uh, if you actually set the timer, I don't want it to click so I won't turn it on, but um, it actually uh, shines a light on the wall <laughs> whenever it's done. Um, so if you're baking cookies, it'll just shine the Batmobile and you really like the, the bat signal on the wall and it's just uh, really cool and unique. Uh, I thought it really went really well in here. Um, I have a Batgirl lunchbox <laughs> and uh, I have a couple of thick pins. Uh, they're, in my opinion, I think they're a little bit more newer. Um, to the collecting community. I know that there's some more serious collectors with the fig pins, but I picked up the classic uh, Batman and Batgirl ones. I found these at uh, Faint Geek at the mall. And then I have a Batman, like an actual Batman figure. And then I have uh, a Batgirl patch. And moving on to the right, you're gonna see uh, that one of the DC collectibles action figures for um, Batgirl and then I have I found a DC bombshells Batgirl That was pretty cool At my local movie trading company, and I got a really good deal on it. I think I only paid like 15 bucks for it um, And the box is still in decent condition I would take these out of the box, but I'm quite honestly afraid that I'm gonna lose a little tiny pieces I don't know if any of you other people out there have that same fear um Right here, I have a uh, the Batgirl uh, version of the DC Artist Alley uh, little figures, and this is my favorite uh, figure that I own right now um, until I can afford like like the bigger ones. But for what you get for the price, um, it's really really well done. Uh, this is a like more of a pliable material, so you do kind of have to be a little bit careful with it. Um, but uh, again, I found this at, uh, I believe my local Think Geek, and uh, she was also on sale I, uh, for only like 30 bucks. But I, I really love the paint job on this. I watched probably like, <laughs> uh, like a million YouTube videos before I bought it. So I was just like, do I really want it? <laughs> um, and I don't regret it at all. Like it looks super awesome in my collection. And uh, right here, this is actually a lamp. Um, I'm not gonna turn it on because for <laughs> I think it's like an older lamp. Um, so it has like a burning smell when you turn it on. Uh, but it has, uh, I'm not sure when this is from, but my husband found it at his job. Uh, they, they buy and sell comics um, at his uh, job. And so, but they also have some older collectible pieces and this was one of them he picked up for me. Uh, that was really cool. Um, and then right here I have the Batgirl uh, Artist Alley print that came with uh, the statue. 
Um, just backing up a little bit, here is my uh, Batman uh, poster that I have. And over here, you're gonna see my awesome, or our awesome bedspread, just with Batman. Um, these two right here, uh, the bat, uh, the Batman uh, poster where it shows Batman uh, taking off his jacket and putting on the Batman cloak and then the actual Batman emblem. I found these two at Hobby Lobby and a fun fact about Hobby Lobby, they usually have 50% off like superhero stuff on certain days. And I believe some of the stuff you can buy online, but you can get some pretty good deals at Hobby Lobby. And I remember finding these, I think like two or three years ago, and I was like, I immediately had to buy them. <laughs> so, um, but they look really awesome in my room. Uh, this one again is just uh, another classic comic, uh, DC Comics um, frame that I found at Ross. Moving on to this wall, I have a Batman poster Again, more classic uh, Batman comics. And uh, right here I have a uh, Batman uh, comic frame uh, that I actually got for the from uh, an, uh, an artist on Etsy. And she sells, uh, you're gonna see another one to my right, uh, but she sells a lot of different like characters, not just Batman, she'll do The Flash, she'll do Marvel, uh, but they, they do a lot of different uh, collector species. I'm gonna remember her name later, but uh, I found this on Etsy. Right here, I found a Batman uh, wall piece, um, just a battering with a bunch of different comics in it. And I believe I found this at FYE. Um, over here, I have a couple of wooden framed uh, Batman comics. Uh, I really like these. Uh, Again, not only because they're like the Batman comics, but they're uh, they're more solid. They're not like an actual poster. Uh, right here, I have my Stephanie Brown poster, and uh, I don't have a whole lot of Stephanie Brown, so this is uh, one of the really coolest uh, posters that I have in my room. And uh, this is another Batman poster. This is the Batman or Batgirl uh, comic book uh, piece that I got from Etsy and uh, got Betty Kane, the first Batgirl, Barbara Gordon, another Bar Barbara Gordon. And then right here I have the Batwing lamp that I was talking about earlier. Um, I really, really like this so much. Uh, what actually happened is I was working at home for a while uh, the past few months and my regular lamp went out and so I was just like well I could buy like a regular boring lamp or I could buy a Batman lamp and this is so awesome I do not regret my decision whatsoever and if you have a chance to buy this um, it's really cool um, this is actually just an LED light I believe you're supposed to actually just use this to turn it but uh, yeah it's just an LED light you don't have to switch any light bulbs or anything it's really cool. Um, right here I have the Funko Pop version of the in the ending scene uh, with Jim Gordon and uh, Batman where they have the bat signal and it actually lights up. I don't know if you can tell. Um, but this was at the very end of the film when they were hinting at the Joker uh, in the Dark Knight, and I really, really love this one. I would have kept this in the box, but it was just so cool that I had to take it out and put it on my desk. And moving on over here, I just have a little <laughs> random Batman piece. And uh, I have these little Batmobiles, and I think they're called uh, Mini Gotham. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but these were actually in little mystery boxes that I found at uh, Think Geek. Um, they, were ha they were on sale for like a dollar a piece. But they have all the different um, Batmobiles. And I think they're really, really cute. And they go perfect with my desk. And this one's probably my favorite right here. They look so cool. And then uh, very last part of my room, I have another little Batmobile. 
And then I have uh, my favorite Batgirl costume right here. And then I'm not sure what brand uh, these two are over here on the side, but this one is actually just like a bobblehead. And very last, I actually have a Batman light switch and it goes perfect with the rest of my room and a calendar and I'm not sure really sure where I got this from, but this is actually just, if you touch it, you can actually see that it actually like moves a little bit. <laughs> but, but yeah, um, but yeah, my name's Katie and uh, this was my room. All right, guys, I'd like to thank the Batman statue collector and he'll see you in the Batcave. <laughs> Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.